What's going on everyone? I hope you're all behaving yourselves. Today I'm going to do just a quick little video on how I improve the airflow and ventilation in my truck camper, which helps me uh, stay cooler in the warmer months and helps uh, cut down the condensation and moisture during the colder months when I'm camping back there. It's all to do with this little roadie pack. Let's go check it out. I'll set it up and show you how it works. So this here is called the roadie. What it does is it acts like a tent door that will go over uh, your SUV or truck door. Uh, it's pretty much universal. It's supposed to fit all. Uh, this is a big door. It's a crew cab. So uh, it fits it actually quite well. Um, so all it does is just start off a little pack like this. Inside, it's got a couple tent poles. Small little tent poles. Um, all it does is just all unfold this little pouch. So big elastic all the way around the whole the whole bag and it fits over the edges of the door and just keeps tight with the elastic there is an adjustable string on there if you did have to have a smaller door but we'll uh, get it to fit on it's pretty simple it's got a little window here so you're gonna want that facing out obviously then the emblem will be facing out so I just try to start at the top here all wrapped around like that. And that's it. That's it. Just all the elastic stays tight. Again, it's uh, waterproof, bug proof. Puts a good sealer on the outside of the door. And I'll show you how the tent pole's set up. So these little tent poles, just like the basic quick pop-up tent, little tent poles. Little hooks on the inside here. Try to do this so you can see. It's impossible to do with one hand, so that's why I kind of got you back there. You can see the little loops in there just fit through them. Fully tuck in like that. Now it does have a tab here if you wanted to tie it down with a string and whatnot, but uh, I generally haven't used it, had to use it yet. And you got this little one here that'll just slide in the top. Makes it a little more rigid. So, pretty easy so far, I'd say. So, here's somewhat of a better view. The pole just goes in, little loops around. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty dark. Another little tent pole that goes up here just makes it a little more rigid. Again, this is a loop. If you ever wanted to, you could tie it down, peg it into the ground. So how this works here, just a, like a tent door. Zips down. Have a nice little screened area, which allows airflow to come in through. Uh, you also have the option, if you ever wanted to just reach in the back, the tent comes down. Reach in, grab whatever you want. Just back up pretty easy. I normally just keep it this way. We'll tie it easy. Tie this up kind of nice, but doing it with one hand, so it's a little tricky to make it neat, but you get the idea. So yeah, you get the window down inside. Again, here's what it looks like on the opposite side. It's all tight around the edges. That allows air to actually come right into the back. And I guess this will only work if you have a back sliding window. So I usually keep this open, and then I have an also a back slider on my, my cap. Um, you can see it just 
As long as it's open, air comes through. Let's close this up. Quick shot from inside the truck. Just a screen door, keeps the bugs out. Keeps that airflow coming through here. We'll allow it to come back out this way. And we'll go to the back and see uh, from that end what happens. So when you get it from the back here, what we do is just open up little screens here on both sides. So when those are opened up, airflow comes right through the back. There. Right out the screens, or vice versa, in through here and out that way. And uh, keeps the bugs out and airflow going. Um, how I have, I don't know if you can see this, but all I used was uh, little pieces of pipe insulation. And I was able to put it through the cap in the bed itself, or the truck itself in the cap, which actually makes a pretty good tight water seal. And it keeps bugs from coming out that way as well. So that's kind of a bonus. Again, it's just a piece of, I've seen people use uh, bicycle tire tubes, uh, pool noodles, anything that'll get up in there to tuck it, make it nice and neat and uh, make a good seal. So if it is dead stale air, you can usually throw the fan in here as well. Get that cranked up. And that'll actually help force air through. And if it is sticky, you can always, you can always turn it around, draw the air out of here, of the back of the cab, and uh, push it into the front there, where, or not, we won't be sitting for a couple days. So I usually face it this way in the winter. I'll crack my windows open a little bit just to get some air, fresh air in, and uh, the fan will draw all the air out which is moving air which is dry air so that's the main thing is try to keep air moving so but yeah so that's pretty much uh simple and easy as that is so another cool bonus about having that set up on the side of my door is my diesel heater i don't have to cut holes in my truck or in my cap to keep the diesel heater outside and I can run the vent through. I'll show you a couple clips on that here. Well, so that's it. Easy and simple as that is. Um, it helps out, like I say, it helps us out quite a bit. Um, keeps it dry. That's my main thing is keeping it dry uh, in the back here during the colder months. The one time the wife and I slept in the back here, no heater, just uh, sleeping bags. I believe it was minus 15 Celsius. It was our first time trying it out. And uh, we woke up in the morning and there was frost all over the carpet ceiling and there was almost like icicles hanging down. So we knew we had to do something. But. Uh, Hope you guys get some use out of this video. Like I say, I'll leave the link uh, to the Am to Amazon where I got it from in the description. So if you want to check it out, uh, I'm not sponsored by anything. I'm not affiliated with Amazon. I just thought it's something really simple and cool and cheap that uh, a lot of people might be able to use that don't know what's out there. So, so guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, please like and subscribe and hit the notifications. Um, if there's anything else I find, something simple and easy as this that'll make my life easier camping, I'll try to post another video about it. and. Uh, if you hit the notification button, you won't miss out. So, till next video, guys. Thanks for watching.